In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use the project timeline template in Google Sheets. You'll know how to access templates, where to find the project timeline template, and then how to use this template to plan out a project, goals, transition, etc. This is applicable in a school setting for collaborative projects students have, along with goals teachers and school staff may be planning in the long term. So when you open up Google Sheets, you go to Template Gallery. After pressing Template Gallery, make sure you're in the General tab, and then scroll down to Project Management, and then go to Project Timeline Template. This is what the template looks like once you've opened it. It has Project Title, which you enter here, Project Manager Name, and Company Name, which you can enter as well and then the date that this project was started. Now, if you go down here, you can see that on this line, you enter the first Monday of each month. So we enter all the Mondays in March and April and May to get an idea of the start of each week and the timeline that we want for each of these things. For instance, in the project conception and initiation phase, in this project timeline template, they have project character, plan review, and initiation of project. But you can change all of these things by clicking here and then writing what you want. So if you ever want to make a new timeline section, all you do is highlight, add the color, and once again, format, merge cells, merge all, and then type in what section this is. And then to change this text, double click and write that. Now, if you want to make this a little bit shorter, all you do is go to Format, Merge Cells, Unmerge, and then choose how long you want it to be. So let's say from here to here, I want the project start in planning. So then we go back to Format, Merge Cell, Merge All. So now to format these cells back to how we want them, all we do is highlight these, go to edit, copy these cells again, edit, paste, and now to add this line back on top, highlight the cells, go here, do a top line, and make sure the color is gray. So now formatting is back to normal, and then if we want these text to spill over, go to format, text wrapping, wrap. So now it all fits within here. And this is how I want it to look like. So that is how you edit the project timeline template.